Today's pretty exciting. Our baby chickens are starting to hatch. I woke up this morning and the eggs were peeping. And uh, if you look real close, you can see they're just starting to break out of the shell. At least that one is. There's another little breakout right there. I'm not going to hang out here all day just watching these things hatch. I've got other things to do. Ironically, I'm working on the chicken coop for them. Actually, I'm bouncing back and forth between doing the chicken coop and digging fence post holes for our buck enclosure. So I'm, I'm pretty busy. I'm not just going to sit here and watch the chickens, but I'll, I'll come back in occasionally and, and uh, I'll give you some updates if I see anything interesting. Of course, normal chores have to be taken care of around here, too. Milking chores are done by Wendy, but to help speed things along, I act as a taxi service. I bring the goats back and forth for her, and she does the milking, and then I go get the next goat. Nope, Bonnie, it's Rogue's turn. Rogue's turn for breakfast. Bonnie always wants to go first, but we have an order to these things, and it's best to keep a routine. With the goats, yes. The goats like a routine. Come on, Rogue. Come on, breakfast time. Let's go. Yeah, let's go. Come on. The routine is Rogue, then Valkyrie, then Bonnie, and then Sienna. Two of the baby chickens have hatched. <laughs> what do you think, Eros? New little playmates? They're a little more active. I thought you might be interested in what I was doing today out here. I am gluing together some of the more complicated parts. They're the side slide rails for the door. They'll go on either side here. So the door can go up and down, and then of course it will latch at the top to stay open. Just going to be a manual door. Nothing too fancy. I'm making all this stuff out of scrap that we have here already. I'm also working on the lid for our nest boxes. This again is out of scrap. So there were some holes from uh, wherever this board had been used previously. Filled that in with a wood putty and a little bit of glue. This somewhat complicated piece will fit in back here above the nest boxes. So a piano hinge can attach the lid to the coop. I needed this little extra space here just so the screws would go in and be biting into wood. It's a little complicated, 
probably easier to show you when I'm ready to actually put the lid on. If you're worried that the chickens are going to hatch and I'm not going to have a chicken coop ready for them, don't be worried. For one thing, after they hatch, they need to stay in that little incubator for about 24 hours. After that, they have to go to our brooder. I did a whole video on building this brooder here. Sorry about the, the mess here. Obviously, I've been working on stuff. But they'll be in that brooder under heat lamps for about six weeks. So I've got plenty of time to work with. We just realized there are three baby chickens in there. Happy birthday, little guy. Say hello to the camera. Yeah. You're a YouTube star. Get used to it. fourth chicken is hatched. Still counting. There's more to come. One downside to hatching your own chickens is statistically you're likely to get half roosters. And what you really want are the hens so they'll lay eggs. Because we do want more laying hens, we're going to hedge our bets by heading off to tractor supply and getting some chickens there. Those chickens are pre-sexed so they're most likely going to be female. They're not 100% guaranteed. I'm not sure what kind of chickens we're gonna get. We'll just see what's there. It's hard to say how many are gonna hatch, usually maybe about half. So we really do want more chickens than that. That's why we're gonna go ahead and go get some more from Tractor Supply. All right, we got six of the Bielfelder. I think that's how you pronounce them. Wendy's gonna look that up for us. A little Happy Meal here. Oh, hello, little baby chickens. Arrows, what do you think? Don't eat them. No. So it might have been better to wait a few days and come down here to get these chickens so they'd be right about exactly the same age as our chickens that are just hatching. But today happens to be Memorial Day. This video isn't going to post for a while, but it's Memorial Day as I film this. And they've got a sale on T-Posts, and we needed some of those, so we're saving money on the T-Posts and getting the chickens today. 
they're pronounced Bielefelder. Let's go put them in the brooder. Bielefelder, named after a town in Germany. These guys are moving around. Some of them are moving around and they're spread out. That tells me that the heat lamps are doing their job. If your chicks are all huddled together in a ball, that means they're a little bit too cold. I've had a chance to do a little bit of research on these Bielefelders. They're a dual purpose bird, so good for meat and for eggs. They're also supposed to be a very friendly breed. And one thing that I really like about this particular chicken. The males and females are very easy to distinguish as chicks. So all of these little chickens should be hens. All right, I'm not going to have a chance to put this together today, but I do need to start priming this and a couple other pieces. Here's how it all works. Because of the angle of the nest box, I've cut some angles on these pieces and this end to compensate for that. That way, when this piano hinge goes on there, the screws will drive into the meat of the wood, not just the little tippy end of it. So we've got six chickens hatched in there so far. This egg right back there is going to be the next one. I don't know if you can see it through the chickens. But his, uh, his or her little beak is trying to get that shell open. Here it comes. They take their time getting out. Well, sometimes it seems like you look away though and there's a chicken. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Oh, there, there it is. goes. Oh. Hello world! Yeah, it takes a lot of effort to get out of that egg. You just rest there for a second. It's got a big foot right there. There it is. There yeah, it is. Yeah. That's why they flop around so weird. Oh, welcome. Welcome to Earth. It's all straightened out for a while. Are you ready for breakfast? Whoa! All right, these guys have been in here long enough. 
I'm not sure exactly how many we have all together. I think another one or two hatched during the night. Let's count them as we pull them out. Okay, don't run away, chickens. Don't run away. We've got whoa, get back here. We got one, two, three, four, come here, five, six, seven. Nine and ten. Ten is a wonderful hatch rate. Very unlikely that these other eggs will hatch, but I'm going to keep them there for at least another day just to find out. Let's go out to the brooder. This is your new home for a little while. chicken. Cutie pie. It's good to have other things to do while you're waiting for glue or layers of paint to dry. The last couple days have been full of distractions, but new chickens are a very good distraction. Thanks for watching. Remember, your dreams are closer than the moon. Thanks for taking this trip around the moon with us.